A Democratic gubernatorial candidate, Paulette Jordan, is making her second campaign trip through Pocatello. KPVI News that works for you reporter Zane Hopin is here to tell us about Jordan's stance on a hot topic. Zane. Thanks, Brenda. With the mass shooting in Parkland, Florida, just about two weeks ago, the conversation on gun control continues to escalate, which makes taking a stance on the issue difficult for Paulette Jordan, whose background and political affiliations tend to clash. We have to take steps to harden our schools so that they're less vulnerable to attack. This includes allowing well-trained and certified school personnel to carry concealed firearm. Paulette Jordan. Your thoughts? I don't want to drive out our families. I want to make sure that we're protecting them. So we're doing the exact opposite if we continue to follow suit of a president who may never have even owned a gun or has uh, shot one. I think as a progressive, what's really unique is that I am a certified and trained gun owner. Having grown up in a culture of hunting and fishing in northern Idaho, the Democratic gubernatorial candidate makes sure to let people know that she recognizes the right for people to own a gun and doesn't want to take that away which is why it's difficult for her to talk about the restriction of assault rifles. It's like uh, removing scotch from the liquor lineup and then saying let's remove scotch to deter drunk driving. And is that really the solution? So what is progressive Democrat Paulette Jordan's stance? Education, enforcement, and accountability. And I think that's the future of Idaho is uh, one, holding people accountable if they shoot. And while anyone and everyone can own a gun in this state, we still need to stand strong with our laws and being responsible gun owners. Jordan will be visiting Fort Hall tomorrow and will have an open community meeting at 11 a.m. at the Shoshone Bannock Hotel and Event Center. Live from the newsroom, I'm Zane Hopin. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, thank you very much, Zane.